welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so in this video we are going to discuss the question construct list using given q xor queries what does the question say the question says that you have been given a list of queries this look this looks something like this each uh, query is a combination of two integers right first integer can be 0 or 1 right and next integer is x suppose it is x now the question says that if this integer is 0 that means you have to add this number to the existing list you will be starting off with a list which is initialized by a number 0 only right if the integer in the query is 0 then you will have to add this x into this list that is it will become something like 0 comma x right whatever the value of x is but if it is 1x if it is 1x then you will have to take the zor of this operator this number x with the all the list with all of the list that is for example in the case 06030021415 if i move accordingly firstly i have a list 0 right i come here i see 06 that is i have to add 6 here i come here i have to add 3 here i have uh, i come here i have to add 2 here now because it is saying 1 4 that means i will have to take zor of all these elements with 4 so let me write it down here 4 4 4 4 suppose there is an element here 0 comma let's say 8 right and then I, 0 comma 8 means i will have to add 8 here and then 1 comma 5 states that i will have to take zor of all these numbers that is after 4 here it will be 5 5 5 5 but for 8 only 5 why because between 1 and 1, 1, 1 comma 4 and 1 comma 5 only 8 was lying only 8 was like right so this is the operation and after that uh, i will have to make a list of these zor that is 0 zor 4 0 zor 5 6 zor 4 zor 5 3 zor 4 zor 5 2 zor 4 zor 5 and 8 zor 5 that will be my list that will be my list and i will have to return its sorted version i will have to return its sorted version how will you solve this problem how will you solve this problem the problem is actually very easy you can use the brute force method what will you do the brute force method let me state it right you will initialize your list you can use a vector also because you will have to add elements right so use the list initialize with zero right now for auto wait in queries that is traverse through all the queries traverse through all the queries if it zero equals to zero that means you have to add the element then list dot push back what do you push back it one right else if it is not 0 it is actually equals to 1 but then what will happen you will have to traverse the list so for i in list what will you do i changes to i xor it 1 that's all that matter finish right but what is the complexity here what is the complexity here you can see that for each one operation that for each one operation i'm actually traversing the whole linked list which has a whole list which has been made right for each one we are making the whole list traverse once again so that is comparatively equals to o of n square in the worst case scenario in the worst case scenario it is equals to o of n square is there a better way is there a better way yes there is a better way what if i try to traverse in the opposite direction that is left to right instead in, in this direction right now what can happen now what can happen so let me use a brute force version so if i say my list is currently zero after this operation it becomes six three two now if you see the one operation that is the zor operation first or operation is getting applied on this four 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 moving on here comes eight here i will have to zor again so five 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 and here only five there is no four right for eight now if I try to traverse in the opposite direction, that is my direction of interest is now this one, right to left, right? What can I do? I can keep a variable x. Let's say I initialize x with 0. Let's say initialize x with 0. Okay, let me give you a glimpse. There are two properties of Zor which are helpful in solving this problem. The Zor property says that a Zor b Zor c is actually equal to a Zor c Zor b is actually equal to a Zor, uh, sorry, c Zor a Zor b. That is, the order doesn't matter in the case of Zor. Order does not matter right this is the first thing and second thing states that zor of any element a zor 0 equals to a zor of any element with 0 is actually equals to element itself right so let us move on now i am saying that i initialize my x as 0 i initialize my x as 0 and my list is currently empty my list is currently empty 
right empty that i am not closing it because right now it is empty right i am traversing from this side one zor five one and five one and five means i will have to take the element of zor on the left side of it i have to take the element of this five on the left side of this element right on the left side so what will i do i will say x equals to i am saying if it one it zero equals to equals to one that means i have to add it to the zor elements in that case x equals to x zor it of one right so my x will actually be equal to zero zor five that will be equals to five now when i insert an element else in the else case else if it zero equals to equals to zero that means i have to insert this element so what will i do i will actually store this eight with the zor element that is i will say eight zor five eight zor five into the element into the list why because if you can see this element is only getting applied by five no four is here right so i'm actually doing that only eight zor five i move on i come here i say four so i will say x equals to x zor five x equals to x zor four so five zor four what is five one zero one what is four one zero zero so one zero zero it is actually equals to one right i have four now i move here zero comma two zero comma two states two zor one two zor one so two zor one i will be storing moving on three two zor three sorry so three zor one sorry three zor one three zor one because my x contains one right now right x contains one zero six that means six zor one after that you have your list after that you have your list but there is still a misunderstanding what is the misunderstanding the question gave us that l already contains zero you will have to insert an element into the l which is equals to zero so l will now equals to eight zor five two zor one three zor one six zor one and zero zor one zero zor one and after that you will just get the values i am not writing out the values you will just get the values you can use the bitwise operator this only and then you can just sort your list and then you can return your list then you can return your list that's all and that is the question algorithm you know you need to do right what is the time complexity because i'm traversing only once so it is o of n and i'm only keeping the space for the answer in english so it is can be treated as o of one only right o of one right space it is time complexity and it is space complexity now it is time for you to see the code so let us move there all right guys so here is the coding section so before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me and it's time for you to see the code now so firstly i will create a vector of int answer which will be storing my answer array now what will i do i will say int x equals to zero why because x zor zero is the zor identity that is anything zor with zero is equals to zero now what will i do i will start reversing so for and i equals to let me change the name of the queries to arr because that will be easier to type int i equals to arr dot size minus one i is greater than equals to zero i minus minus now what will you do you will say if arr i zero equals to equal to zero in that case you will have to add the zor element that is uh, answer dot push back what will you push back x zor with the current element arr i one moving on else case that is you have to just update your zor x zor equals to arr i one right at the last you will have to add an add an element that is equals to zero zor x so answer dot push back arr i oh, sorry or oh, zero zor x zero zor x that's all and now you can just sort the answer so answer dot begin with answer dot end and now return your answer return the answer right let us try to sort, uh, compile and run it hope it will work fine in the meantime do consider subscribing to my channel if you are liking this video it is working fine let us try it for submit as well it should work fine i guess it is running and you can see the counter going up okay so 170 days streak streak it is so thank you for watching and we'll meet tomorrow with a new video till then stay tuned keep coding have a nice day